can explain the seven habits really quite quickly to somebody and they will get an understanding that this is a framework um, it is common sense there's nothing particularly new in it it's just a really good way of structuring how you think and how maybe how you problem solve i think the seven habits are great because they can really change your life and um, they really helped me a lot think when one i would really really want you know, the seven habits to be introduced in every primary school all around the UK and even all around the world. And actually giving them the seven habits and giving them ways to sort themselves out, I think makes them a better person than themselves. The children now, in the last five, six years, are a lot happier. They're a lot more respectful to the adults. Now we're giving respect to teachers. They're helping, she's, they're giving respect to us and we're getting so much education. Leader and Me for us is not a programme, it's about a process that the young people would go through and that they would be working on themselves and that they would internalise a lot of the skills that they are actually learning through the process of learning about the seven habits and they would then be able to use those in their daily lives. Every single person has leadership qualities in them. It's for us to help them find them and for them to, to find them within themselves. If you're embedding it with the children and your whole processes are through seven habits, I think gradually they, they understand that sort of richness of the, of the framework. When you think of a person, they're like confident and a leader. Well, we're all leaders now because we can use the seven habits, we're really responsible, we can look after each other and we just know what we're doing. There is a, a real atmosphere that we're all here together, we're all working together and I think for the leadership program one of the biggest things is it is for everybody. We are, we are one now so, and everyone will help everyone. Be proactive. Be proactive as well, just doing it yourself and doing it without anyone asking you and doing the right thing when not, even when no one's looking in that. Begin with the end in mind. When I'm beginning with the end in mind, I can do my work first and then play. It happened at home as well. I used to fight with my brothers a lot, but now I think, oh, I'm the eldest child. I need to take responsibility and look after them. So I play with them now. Put first things first. Starting A-levels, it was, it was quite a struggle for me because the workload increases massively. Um, but with the current programme, I'm sort of putting the first things first. It, it really allowed me to prioritise and it's definitely, definitely helped with my time management. And I also think it's helped with my work ethic as well. I think win, win. Some boys get quite annoyed and quite stressed when they lose in football. They used think win win, so this boy said, we'll just call it a draw, is that okay? And the other boy said, yeah, that's fine. So they're both fine with each other and it was a happy day for the rest of the day. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. So if you're thinking about other people's opinions and you're listening to what other people are saying, then you can explain what you want as well. So it's just kind of like being mindful of other people and um, accepting other people for who they are and also accepting yourself for who you are as well. Synergize. Synergize has helped me quite a lot because not um, I can also, I can lead a team, but I can also listen to others and uh, hear their opinions and what they want to do as well. Sharpen the soul. Well, I think the most important one is sharpen your soul, because then if you sharpen your soul, you look healthy, everything, you'll be able to unlock all the achievements or the other seven habits. The leadership programme for me was life changing. It was more about really reflecting on my personal skills rather than my teaching skills. My son would not do anything. He just he would give me cheek, he would not do his room, he would not do anything. Ever since these seven habits, he'll come in at home and he'll say to me, I'm going to be proactive tonight. And I'll say to him, I'll remember, put first thing first, what does he do? Because I can get his room done. The difference uh, with the children using the habits is completely phenomenal. The seven habits have really boosted my confidence as being myself, as a funny character and being a loyal person to everyone. The homework is on a different level now. Um, the children all bring it in, they all read, um, they are leaders, they all have leadership jobs in the class. One little girl who is very quick-tempered, 
getting her to slow down and thinking about the words that she uses and using the pause button has been a massive success with her. It just means the whole atmosphere in the class is much calmer, much more peaceful, and the other children respond better to her. Personally, I think if all the schools use certain habits, it would make children and possibly teachers happier, making school feel more calm. Thank you for listening to my speech. Have a Yeah, I didn't. I didn't expect for me to be able to do that because that sounds like to teachers and children because of, uh, I was quite self-conscious. I thought over it too much. I was thinking, oh, what are they going to say? Like, like they're going to say something about me. They're going to say something about my speech. So think about what they are going to say that you're happy with, and not think too much about what they're going to say. That's what's going to hold you back in life. That well-being aspect of children and young people within the school has absolutely flourished and that the children now have a real self-worth around them and you see that when you go into the school where they're happy and they're confident and they're smiling. The thing that I noticed most of all was first of all it was the actual time for reflection because you know how often do we actually stop and actually re-examine um, aspects of our own lives. So now I stop, I think, I take a breath and then I say what I need to say and it's not coming across as harsh or rude like it used to. So it makes me a better person. I feel a better person. All of the staff in this school, without exception, model the habits. That, that is such a powerful tool for children because if you are in a, a community where that's the norm, you are bound to raise a set of children who feel that that's the way they should behave and that they will do that naturally anyway. You can address uh, raising achievement through sticking plasters and pushing hard there and then, or you can build a culture of achievement. And I think that, that for me is, is, is far more professionally rewarding and far more important. When we did bring the habits, We've cleaned up the place, we've had a fresh start, and it's just a general uh, place where you can be yourself. Seven Habits in school is very empowering. It's empowering for the children and for us as staff. That we have the ability to take them to places they might never have been to and allow them the flexibility to explore themselves in much greater detail. I've become more confident in speaking and when I was in P2 and 3 I was really shy but now that I've learnt the seven habits they've made me more confident. When you've embedded something over a period of time and that's continually your focus then children start to make the right decisions. They've got something to go back to, they can always go well which of the seven habits will help me to solve this? In primary seven, I'm giving these kids skills and a mindset that they can work through this. It is not just, well, my family's like this, so I'm never going to be this. If you put it in yourself and you want to work and you think through these things, you can actually get there. That's what the leadership programme does. It proves to everybody that no matter where you come from, who you are, you can be a better person. Now that I'm seeing that they actually help people and they've helped other people to be stronger, I've been thinking, well, they're such a good thing. And I just want to thank the person who's made the seven habits up. So often in my career, I've heard teachers reflect on terms like, oh, they've got to be spoon fed, I have to do it, they're not very independent. Now, if you are brave enough to actually let go of that a little bit, and trust the fact that if you build the right behaviours in children from early on, then your job at that end is going to be so much easier. Then you're opening up a real recipe for success. We're trying to give them more responsibility and develop self-confidence and think differently. So they're actually being creative in their thinking too. They're not reliant on adults constantly for decision-making in a school. Now that's a huge shift and takes some of the onus away from the teachers. They know they can be anything they want to be and they have the drive to go there and they have the support. But they equally know that if it all goes wrong, it doesn't matter. They just have to pick themselves up and work it out again. And they do that and they jump hurdles all the time. 
It's equally important is how they communicate, is how they present themselves after they leave school. And that's not on the curriculum anywhere. And that's what the habits provide a great framework for. Let's make sure that we support them to carry that on and to make sure that they get out at 16 or 18 still having that skill to self-manage, still being clear about what their focus is, where they want to go, what's important to them. It's about the fact that this involves every child. It, it doesn't matter, it's not gender related, it's not, you don't have to be intelligent. It's about you making a difference to your life. And if you can make yourself a better person, that will then have a positive effect on the people that you meet. And I think for me, that's been the biggest part, is if you feel good about yourself from within, that's going to shine and that's going to make it a very positive area or classroom environment for your children to be in.